guys, I'm taking the Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer. This is my absolute favorite primer. It's perfect for oily lids because it really stays put. I like to apply it with my fingers first and then I just go in with a brush if I feel like it just to even out the product and just make sure that it's everywhere. Now I'm going to take my super beat up NYX eyeshadow base in the color Skin Tone and I'm going to apply this to the lids as well with that same brush. This just helps me make sure that everything is nice and smooth and even and again I do like to go in with my finger just to warm up the product a little bit. After that, I'm going to start with my first eyeshadow color. This is going to be a transitional color. And as you can see, it's kind of like a dusty red-brown color. This is by the brand Luxie Beauty. It doesn't have a number on it, but I will have it linked down below for you guys. I will search up the name. But I'm pretty much starting off with applying it all over the crease. This is going to make our work a lot easier when we start building up the colors and it's just going to make the transition a lot easier. So after that I'm going to pick up this burnt yellow color, it's like an orangey yellow color and this is Chickadee by Makeup Geek. It is a beautiful color. I'm going to apply that on top of that first color. I really wanted to go for orangey and yellow tones here in this look so I'm just applying that to get again more of that orangey color that I'm looking for and I'm just really blending it out going back and forth as you can see. Definitely take your time when you're doing that just so you don't get any harsh lines. Now I'm going to move on to my third color and this is actually going to go all over my lid. If you can see that, it has a little bit of like sparkles to it. And this is another Luxie Beauty eyeshadow and let me see, this is in the color, or sorry, the number 302. It is a gorgeous, almost like a red brown as well. And I'm just going to pack that on to the lid as you can see. I'm really just going back into that pan and packing it on until I get super intense color. I'm going to go back to that brush and I'm not going to apply any additional product. I'm just going to start blending out the lip color up into the crease color just again so we can get a nice transitional um, fade from that dark to light. This is just going to really bring everything together. Next I'm going to apply my liquid eyeliner and this is just my holy grail eyeliner. This is the NYC liquid eyeliner in the color black and I'm just going to be doing my wing. You guys can totally skip the wing eyeliner if you want but I just felt like with this look I definitely need, needed a winged eyeliner. And then I'm going to go ahead and apply my lashes. These are the obvious ones that I always use which are Vegas Nay. And then I'm going to go back into this yellow color and with that chickadee color and a white base, I'm going to apply that to the lower lash line. This is just going to make those yellow colors pop more because of my skin tone, they normally wouldn't pop without a white base. So if you are my skin tone or a little bit darker, I definitely recommend for you to do that. And I hate when that happens. Ah. Next, I'm going to go on to the e.l.f. Glitter Primer, and I'm going to apply this almost to the inner tear duct, as you can see on the other eye, and I totally forgot to show you guys which glitter I used, but it's just from um, Sally's, Sally Girl or something like that. <clears throat> I got it forever ago, but just any gold glitter will work. I will make sure to link it down below because I can't remember what it's called. Next, I'm going to pick up my favorite like, highlight color for the eyes, and this is... I can't, I can't remember. Anyway, it's from Makeup Geek, but it's gorgeous and I always use this. And then I'm going to apply mascara to my lower lashes. Since I do have my makeup done, I'm going to link down below what I used for my face. So I'm going to move on to bronzer. This is one of the bronzers that I picked up from shopmissa.com. I did a haul and this was only a dollar. I really liked it, but I think this brush wasn't the right one to apply the bronzer. As you can see, 
it is a little intense but I do go back and I fix it but I'm going to apply the bronzer pretty much to the outer perimeters of my face just to bring more darkness where I want to conceal and then I'm just going to go ahead and blend everything to make sure again that we do not have any harsh lines. I did go back into another bronzer just because I wanted a little bit more warmth and this is the Makeup Forever Dual Bronzer with that highlights. And I'm just going to go over the lines and make sure that everything is again nice and blended. Now for my contour, this is my favorite one. This is the Bombs Bahama Mama. And this is the e.l.f. contouring, um, sh not shadow, <laughs> the contouring brush. Hello. And I'm going to contour those cheekbones just because I have a super round face. So I want to make sure that my face looks a little bit slimmer. So I'm going to go ahead and contour and then I'm going to go back and make sure that everything is nice and blended. I also like to take that underneath my lip just to give it a little bit more of a pouty of pouty appearance and then I'm gonna take this elf stippling brush I totally need a new one because this one's like completely destroyed but this is my favorite to just contour my cheekbones and make sure that everything is nice and blended just so we don't have that streak of line just going through our cheekbones now I'm gonna take the banana shade from the Anastasia palette and I'm just going to clean up the bronzer I've had this makeup pretty much on all day as far as like my foundation goes just because I had to do a million things and last minute I just decided to film so I'm just going back and making sure that everything is nice and brightened up <clears throat> Excuse me one second. now I'm gonna go into the Carly Bible palette this palette is so gorgeous I mean look at this look at these colors I am so in love with this palette. I'm going to take this bronzer right here. Well, actually these two and their highlights. And as you can see, they're super pigmented. I was so impressed and I was blown away by the pigmentation. I love this palette. I highly recommend if you guys can get your hands on it. Definitely get it. It's only like $12. Super affordable. And again, the pigmentation is just amazing. I also like to take that to my nose just to make it, I don't know, make it look a little bit cuter. I mean, my nose isn't really cute, but you know, I try. And I take that to my chin as well. Now here I was trying to decide what color I wanted. So I went with Beeper by ColourPop. I know that I only use ColourPop liquid like lipsticks, but honestly, those are like my all-time favorites. But I'm definitely going to be switching it up soon. So I'm going to apply that to my lips. And I do overdraw the top of my lip just a little bit. Just because my lips are super uneven and they're like crooked or something. I don't know. But I like to overdraw them. I think it gives them a more cuter appearance. And then I'm going to take Vice again by ColourPop. And I'm going to apply that to the center of the lips. And this is just going to tone down the brown in that beeper color just a tad bit. After you've applied your lipstick, you are all done with this Thanksgiving inspired makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.